Well, welcome back, everybody. We have reached the legal drinking age here in America, episode 21. I'm your host, Chris, my co-host, David. And to Neil O'Donnell, Olivia Munn, Montel Williams, Julian Assange, Tom Cruise, and last but not least, America. Happy birthday. Let's make some poor choices. So should I show them how I make my mimosa? I'm sorry, not mine. The correct way to make a mimosa. Yes. Okay. Champagne. Step one. Do 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 do. Orange juice. Step two. Do 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 do. That's all you need. Ta da. Step three. Do 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 do. Chug 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 mm-hmm. chug. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm. So America's birthday, July 4th, big time of year. Tis. Speaking of, uh, you ever seen the movie Born on 4th of July? Mm, I don't think so. No. Came out in 1989. Okay. It got a 7-1 on IMDb, so I figured it was a good chance of you having seen it. Okay. <laughs> and funny enough, it's starring Tom Cruise. Born on 4th of July. Have so you seen I it? So I thought that was... No, I haven't, but... I just thought it was funny that his birthday is July 3rd, and he was in a movie about the 4th of being July. Being born on 4th of July? Oh, yeah. Maybe not about being born on... Uh, I think it's probably about the country. Oh, anti-war drama. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Bi- uh, biographical something, something, something. Okay. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, are you um you doing anything for the 4th this year? I know you got the newborn and all that good stuff. Between the baby and the dogs, probably just playing uh i don't know thunder buddy Mm -hmm. yeah yeah last night last night was rough i don't know if those storms made it over your way yeah well two nights ago i had a tornado over here touched down like a mile away from here yeah yeah which it was like anything about that i was sitting at home and lights flickered a couple times like yeah good storm it's you can hear the rain it's thundering um and eric texted me was like hey are you alive and i was like i'm not not alive like what what do you mean and he's like, oh, a tornado just touched down on, uh, what do you say, like, uh, the road right down the street. And I was like, this road? And I sent him, like, a screenshot of, like, where I live and where that road is. It's like a mile away. He's like, yeah, that's it. It's like, holy shit. I had no idea. I'm just in here fucking playing PlayStation. Like, yeah, don't go out, please. I want my air condition. I don't want to die. Right. Um, what's, uh, what's Eric doing checking Melbourne, Florida weather? He's into watching, like, tornado trackers and radar and that kind of stuff. Like, he'll who watches a guy on YouTube who's like, oh, tornado's down here. Oh, following this one now. That's over there. Oh, following this one now. So does does he like, the YouTube guy, does he like actually follow it like some Twister shit? No, he's at home. He's like a meteorologist, but he has his own channel. Um, and he'll just have, you know, he have strong possibility here for development and this and this and this. And he's got all these maps up and all this stuff going on, which I'll take so it. So Eric, Eric follows a guy that follows tornadoes. Correct. <laughs> Sounds excruciatingly exciting. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like excruciatingly ginger. Yeah. Maybe. Why doesn't he just just I'm not gonna get it. We could have a whole hour episode on Eric. <laughs> and, we, um, and we already we already uh we already graced our listeners with one episode of Eric. I think they enjoyed it. I think they enjoyed yeah. it a lot. I I enjoyed it. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, that that storm yesterday, dude, it was it was awful. So, besides not awful all, like the weather, I'm not scared. I feel like you're the only one that knows what I'm talking about. The yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. dogs like do they all have, freak out or two of them do? No, it's just Jolene and Zelda and it was it was awful. Jolene's mm-hmm. like running upstairs, running downstairs, running in this room, running in that room, looking mm-hmm, at me mm-hmm. just like panting. I'm like stress yourself to death. Yeah. And then Zelda's just looking at you like, make it stop. Mm-hmm. And then if you don't look at her, she starts like pawing you. She's like, hey, make it stop. Hey, yeah. Give him a call. Tell him to stop that noise. It's really yeah. bringing me down right now. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, uh, I guess, a good mental preparation for fireworks because it's inevitable yeah. every year. Yeah. 
Well, I didn't but, know there was fireworks stores around here. I passed one the other day down in where you used to live, and there's like two stores on the same road. I was like, I didn't even know these existed. They probably just give you those like they shoot up and like they spark up. No, no, these are like, like these are like Phantom fireworks. Like this is like real fireworks stores. Like you yeah, go Phantom, in and, Phantom sells those. No, these, these are aren't like, the ones that go. They are, um, and all you I'm have to do, on that. all you have to do is apparently once you Get sign a license. the no, you sign a form that says you're using these to um, either like scare birds away from your crops or um, like using them as like a scarecrow almost kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like so to I'm see told, what legislation. So I'm told that's yeah. <laughs> huh. Uh, I'm not going to venture That's in there anytime soon because this time of year that place is going to be a madhouse, and I am not about that. Yeah, you got to go. You got to go in there like July 5th. Yeah, it's like, like like going into going into Walgreens on November 1st and getting mm-hmm. half price Halloween candy mm-hmm. for all the shit they didn't sell. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, so yeah, I I'd like to, but I it's expensive and nah, I just don't, yeah. Don't feel what like about you? Any to other uh, plans? <laughs> now nah, I'll be working, grinding away. Grinding away. Fun. And nope. then you leave shortly after that? Yep. Fly back to Maryland um, next weekend, actually, for that nine, nine day camping trip out in the mountains. Out in the Appal- mountains. Out in Appalachia. Well, that'll be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. It's always a good time. So, which is, which is why we're double recording today for anyone wondering why we have uh, breakfast beverages. Yeah. It's uh, currently 10 o'clock in the morning. It is. But most of some bloodies. Too. Yeah. Do you, I, I think the last time I had a mimosa this early was uh, the darkest of days, if you remember that day. I remember. I'm just trying to think if that is, in fact, true. The earliest? No. No, 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 no. I mean, we've had mimosas when you were living over here for football and stuff like that, or parties. And Christmas and... Yeah, true. Had to I think, be before... I think that fateful day 10. was actually like 7.45 in the morning when I started. Because the game came when on at like started, yeah, yeah. The game came on at like eight thirty, yeah, nine o'clock, eight, yeah, yeah. That was. Do you have who's got that picture? What picture? The, the dog cone with I beer not, being poured in your mouth. I do not have that picture. <laughs> I've seen it. Someone's I've seen got it too. It. Yeah, someone's got. I'll try it. to. I'll try to acquire it and post it because that's a good one. Shanks might have it. Was he there? Yeah, that afternoon evening. Shankel, if you were there and you have this picture, send it to me. <laughs> Yeah, he was there, yeah, and somehow that was a, that was oh, a rough boy. day for all parties involved. All parties involved, but a great time, great time. Yeah, well, yeah, bloody mary for you. With is that one of those like flimsy rubber straws? It is. I hate those fucking things. What this? It's not like super flimsy. That's why I use it. We have another one that like will fucking just like dangle over the glass. Yeah, every time you'd give me a drink when I'd come over and you gave me one of those, I'd be like, oh, this fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> this wet noodle in my mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one's that one's my go-to. Is it really? All, yeah, well, all the other ones we have, they're like the metal ones. Why don't you just drink from like the glass, just, dude? Well, usually when I drink like Bloody Marys and margaritas, I go for like ice cubes. Hmm. So if I if I go from the glass, I'll like I'll just eat the fucking ice cubes in like my first five sips. Uh, I got you. Okay. So, well, I, so I normally like a, the straws not used, but I I like the the option. Well, with a bloody, I really like. I don't really. I wouldn't say I have a mustache, but there's hair there, and I. It's kind of weird, but I love like taking that sip and having that like that and then little, going eh, eh. that little lick of that little <laughs> lick of spices like Old Bay and like tomato juice. I'm like, oh yeah, some extra flavor in there. That's probably that's probably why you don't shave, huh? Nah, I'm just lazy. See, it's easier to maintain like this than spend money on razors and bullshit like that. Just get an electric trimmer. I do. I have an electric. That's what I use. Oh, well, just do it more often to the point where it won't get stuck. That's nah, like we're at the point. Shaved head, semi-shaved face. The shaved head's because that hair's going at some point. Yeah. And then this way, it just over time, nobody notices. <laughs> just natural progression. It's like, yeah. he always, always going bald? No, nah, dude. I just, he's been like that ever since I know him. He's been like that for years. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good for sure. I just stick with it to, to save money. I'm like, it's easier to... Just burr, every two weeks, then go out and get a haircut. Yeah, I cut mine too. Yeah, same thing. It's yeah. way cheaper. They want twenty bucks to do that. No, thank you. I mean, I for me, I'm starting to lose it. Like on the sides, I don't know what you call that. I'm sure there's uh, a name for it. Yeah, probably. Um, but like, like I'll look at pictures from like even just like six or seven years ago, and I'm like, damn, 
<laughs> it's, it's the good just, old days. Just slowly, it's slowly fading away. Slowly fading away. Um, well, I wanted to give you some U.S. stuff while we're celebrating the fourth. Perfect. Um, all right, David, I got five USA trivia questions for you. <sighs> okay. All right. First one being, what was the first American state? Delaware. Delaware is the correct answer there. What was the name of the first permanent English, in parentheses, American colony? Which I think Central Middle, we went on a field trip there. It may have been when I was still in Westminster, but I definitely went on a field trip to this place. So it's close to Maryland. Is it a state's name? No, it's the town in, it's in Virginia. Yeah. Oh, man. And the name town is Charleston. in. Charleston. No. You're close. That's West Virginia, huh? You're close. That is West Virginia. Is it, is it Arlington? No. It has town at the end of it. Someone's first name and then town. Oh, uh, fuck. Named after the king of England at the time. Charlestown. No. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't that close. <laughs> it's my middle name. Uh, Jamestown. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I don't remember ever going there. You never went there and they're all, you know, they have all the reenactors all dressed up and they have all the, you know, all that good stuff going yeah. on. No. I, I might have still so. been living up in Westminster at the time. Um, okay. Hmm. Well, what is the oldest European founded city in the United States? Man, I just looked this up like three weeks ago. Well, we're living in the state it's in. Uh, the oldest European founded mm-hmm. is Pensacola. It is not. It's not St. Augustine. It is. No, nope. that's the that's the the oldest continuously inhabited city. Fact check me. Mm, Pen- okay. Pensacola okay. is the oldest. So I got 1565 for St. Augustine by Don yep. Pedro Merendez de Avilis of Spain. What year was that? 1565. Right, let me ask you if you ever heard of this guy here. Tristan de Luna. You ever heard of him? No, I have not. Hmm. Well, he settled onto what is Pensacola now Pensacola in 1559. Oh, so that is an inaccurate statement by me then. So Pensacola. This makes Pensacola the site of the first multi-year European colonial settlement settlement ever ar- archaeologically identified in the United States. Well, whatever site I, I got this from. I thought we've had No, no, you're you're right and that's I love having this this debate with people because it's t- while technically true that St. Augustine is the oldest because it's the longest. I guess to define a city, it has to have I got residents. You. I got you. So, but it's technically not the oldest. I know it sense. is the oldest, um, and I still haven't gone. I really want to. The oldest fort in the United States is in St. Augustine. Yeah. I really want to go because it looks awesome right on the water there. Um, so, yeah, your, your site's correct, but most people don't know that Pensacola was, in fact, discovered first. That's pretty cool, actually. But both in Fun Florida. Fact. How about that? And both in Florida. Um, what was the first European? I'm sorry, who? Who was the first European to land in North America? And I want to say there's a Nickelodeon show that should give you the answer to this. How old is this Nickelodeon show? I think it's from Nickelodeon that they said it. I got to check. Oh, um, I think it's SpongeBob. Hmm. It is. Yeah, it's SpongeBob. I must have missed that while he was out murdering people. Well, in the episode, SpongeBob has a red beard and a Viking oh, is helmet it, uh, on. Is it fucking Leif Erikson? It is Leif Erikson um, in the 10th century, which means in the year 900 and 999, he came here. Hinga dinga Durgan. Durgan. <laughs> and final question. Um, when did Christopher Columbus land in what would later become the United States? 1472. The number you're looking for is 1492, but from what I have, I don't know if I trust this website anymore, is he didn't. Most historians agree he landed in parts of Central and South America, as well as some Caribbean islands. When? When what? 1492. That's when he sailed west. So when did he land at all those places? Or is it just argument of where he landed? Correct. So they're saying that most historians are on the same page that he never landed in what is now the U.S. He was he never did it. Okay, but he technically landed in America. Correct. So central Central America would be considered North America, but South America would not. 
but also Caribbean islands are technically North America too. Right. But if all they say is America, then technically no matter where he landed. So what is, we have a Columbus story. Like what did we learn? Where did he land? Let's see. The pilgrims landed in Plymouth rock. So that wasn't Columbus. People get that mixed up a lot. I feel like, but like Um, we're learning about him, like you're sitting in, you know, fourth, fifth grade. Where did the Mayflower? No, no, no. Mayflower was the pilgrims. He was the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. That's right. Where did either of them land when we're being taught that? Right. I, I, I don't know. But hmm. we, we have a whole holiday for it. We have Columbus Day. Sounds like it, just another reason to drink. But he never landed here. Hmm. Wild, right? It is wild. He landed, oh, in the Bahamas, San Salvador. Hmm. Which is America? The Bahamas? Yeah. Uh, no, the Bahamas are not part. Are they a territory? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. I don't think they are. Um, and then it says here, he never set foot in today's United States. <laughs> Isn't that wild? <laughs> That's great. Uh, I like like that you so ask much. anyone who discovered the U.S., they'd go Christopher right. Columbus. Yeah. But really, right. it's he discovered the Americas. Right. Right. But hmm. more South and Central and the Caribbean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's wild. Oh, well, speaking of, of uh, American history that is uh, misconceived, I guess. Okay. I have some 4th of July facts for you. Okay. I'm about it. They're not all misconceptions, but the first one is pretty interesting. Um, we didn't actually declare independence on the 4th of July. I did know that. Do you know when it was? Um, I know it got like finalized like in August. Like It was like a month later. like. It got drafted in the beginning of July, like the second or third, and then the fourth was like when it got finalized, but then it didn't actually get like put out. Yeah, like, like I think it was like all the signatures didn't happen until in like November or something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. This is one of the greatest misconceptions of the 4th of July lies in its name and date. Though widely believed that we declared independence on July 4th, 1776, the official vote actually took place two days before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the 4th of July is the 2nd of July. The 2nd of July. Yeah. How about that? How about that? This is a good one. Um, the designer of the 50-star flag lived in Lancaster, Ohio. Oh, really? That's not, that's not the interesting part. So in 1958, a history teacher assigned a class assignment to redesign the flag, since Alaska and Hawaii were both nearing statehood. Mm-hmm. So Robert G. Heft, who was 16 at the time, designed a new flag using the old 48 star flag and two dollars and 87 cents worth of blue cloth and white iron on material. Wow. His design got him a, a B minus. <laughs> so he challenged him by sending Robert. it to the by sending it to the White House to be considered by Eisenhower. And it was ultimately selected and his grade was changed to an A. Not even an A plus, just an A. It's well, yeah, just what, whatever, <laughs> A plus. I just like how, how do you think that teacher feels? Like, I gave this kid a B minus and ultimately it ended up being our nation's flag. Yeah, you got to move. You got to get a new job. Like, you got to. Yeah, like, I, I, you got to get a new career. Like, right, right. you lose all validity as a teacher at that point. Yeah, B minus. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm, that's great. That is really good. I like that. I thought that was fun. The next one is Americans will enjoy 150 million hot dogs on the 4th. It's a lot of pig. Wow. It is a lot of pig. 150 in the grand scheme million? Of things, 150 million. But in the grand scheme of things, it's estimated that 7 billion are expected to be eaten between Memorial Day and Labor Day. Damn. That's still a lot for a day, though. That's a lot. I mean, I won't be having one, so maybe 149 million, 999 million thousand yeah. hot dogs. Yeah. Well, are- I'm not going to be eating one. And we know uh, Joey Chestnut ain't going to be eating one. So. 149,997. Correct. <laughs> oh, 96. Correct. Your wife will not have a hot dog either. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the next one is about fireworks. According to the, which I didn't know existed, American Pyrotechnics Association. Of course Americans, that exists. <laughs> Americans spend more than $1 billion on fireworks each year. Shit. Out of this, only 10% of displays are set off professionally. I'm in the wrong business. Billion dollars a year? (laughs) 
which probably accounts for the estimated 12,900 firework related emergency room visits across the country. <laughs> Back up, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in reverse, oh, that was Terry. My, that was my first thought. Uh, oh, no. Oh, shit. It's so funny. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, Terry. <laughs> next one I've got. Next one I've got is that fireworks are an American tradition dating back to 1777. Um, John Adams wrote a letter to his wife, Abigail, that he wanted Independence Day to be celebrated with pomp parade shows and illuminations. What's a pomp this parade? Origi- pomp, pomp, like pomp, pomp comma, yeah. parade. Pomp parade. Pomp parade shows and illuminations. That's going to test out these pop filters. <laughs> <laughs> this original letter was written when Adams presumed that Independence Day would be celebrated on July 2nd. Yeah. As anyone during that time would, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. This one is, I guess, not really, I don't know. It's like when you put it in perspective, I'll just say it. So, although an official national census was not completed until 1790, the Census Bureau estimates that there were only about two and a half million people living in America in 1776. That's less than New York City, L.A., and Chicago. I believe it. And just more than, just over the population of Houston. Wow. Yeah, that's, I don't know, it's funny. The next one, Thomas Jefferson and John Adams both died on July 4th, 1826, within five hours of each other, on the 50th anniversary of signing the Declaration of Independence. Damn. Hey, at least they got that last one in. (laughs) (laughs) They they were probably both a uh, firework-related emergency room visit. (laughs) Okay, didn't put it in reverse. Right? <laughs> put it in reverse, Thomas. <laughs> uh, the last one I got is uh, the last one I've got is July Fourth was not deemed a federal holiday until 1870, nearly 100 years after wow. the nation was founded. Well, I can kind of see that. That's like just a few years after we had a civil war in the country, so maybe they were like, "All right, let's you know, this is going to be a great thing to unite." are now United States. We'll celebrate how we became what we are today. I can see it. Yeah, I but a hundred years it. later? Well that's like it. that's like not celebrating your birthday until you turn a hundred. Yeah. Well I mean it, in the time you wouldn't know that's your birthday in the sense of a country because you also just beat a war against the British. Thirty years pass, you fighting yourselves. Well not thirty years, maybe fifty. Um, I'm not, I feel like declaring your independence is celebration worthy. Yeah, that's a good point, too. Like maybe the next year be like, hey, today's the day that we did it. You remember? Remember what happened last yeah. year? <laughs> right. Go, like not to, let's go to the let's go to the tavern. Like, let's go. Yeah. Like, yeah. who did I say? Thomas Jefferson or whoever it was like they started fireworks the following year, but they didn't want to consider it a holiday until 100 years later. Well, did they have any holidays? Like nah, like this is a, you know, holidays maybe didn't really start becoming followed or tradition or until later on. Yeah, you know, they what had I mean? to have Thanksgiving, right? It's mm, a good question because I, I mean, feel like when when did Jesus die? They had to be celebrating Christmas. Uh, Eighteen seventy, <laughs> Ulysses S. Grant made Christmas a federal holiday. <laughs> hmm. Same year. <laughs> Wait, let's try Thanksgiving. 1870, Ulysses S. Grant declares Thanksgiving. 1789, day of public Thanksgiving. Public with a CK at the end. That's weird. Hmm. Okay. So shortly so, after. So Christmas the and Fourth of July, both 1870. Same president. I wonder what else he did. He smoked cigars. Yeah, I feel like a lot of them did that back then. He's on the 50. He, he is on the 50. He led the Union Army to victory. You're starting to go down territory that I am not familiar with. <laughs> He's got a cool first name, Ulysses. Like that'd be a cool name yeah. for like like an old like dog like oh Ulysses come here Ulysses yeah come, you know I wonder if like, people called him like U G like UG what up UG no. well you know his middle initial everyone does right but what's it stand for or do you not um, with a name like Ulysses like if I said Ulysses it would have to be S- I know the letter Grant? I'm just okay. yeah I'm trying to, to like it's got to be like Sassafras or like <laughs> something. Either that or it's like Stephen. Oh, what? So his full name is Haram Ulysses Grant. What? <laughs> you looking at Wikipedia? Yeah. So it was frequently said that Grant's middle name was Simpson. It was not. His middle name was Ulysses. 
and he admitted that the S in his name stood for nothing. So his name was Haram Ulysses Grant. Haram. Hmm. You know, your average 1800 name for a guy in the U.S., Haram. Har- yeah. <laughs> I didn't think Harams existed back then. Yeah. How that's... bizarre. Apparently, the S in Harry S. Truman didn't stand for anything either. I'm about to be Chris S. <laughs> oh, what's uh, your middle name? Uh, James. He- <laughs> so, that's, okay. So, apparently, this is why he did it. But having the name U.S. Grant, but having the name U.S. grant him the nickname Sam, as in Uncle Sam. What? I don't know what that means. Either exactly. way, his initials are U.S., which is pretty cool. If yeah. his last name was like Amsterdam or like anything with an yeah. A, if, if his initials were USA, that'd be really cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then he'd be allowed to start the first Fourth of July. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who who created the Fourth of July holiday? Oh, that was USA. President USA. <laughs> that was President USA. <laughs> yeah. Leader of the free Damn. world. <laughs> yeah, he should have just went all in with that one. Yeah, just change it all. You, you already yeah. got the U. That's the hardest part. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Like, what's another name that begins with the letter U? Um, Ursula. Mm. Is Eustace a U? That's an E. That's an E. All right. Well, you hit me with some trivia. Facts. I got some for you, too. Some facts. But not really Fourth of July, but just more the United States uh, as a whole. Um, so the first one is there is enough concrete in the Hoover Dam to stretch across the entire country. I believe it. It's a lot of Crete. It is a lot of Crete. Uh, the U S has the world's longest land border. Yes. <laughs> because that's where the whole thing. Well, land, no, land, water border, just land, a land border. So us in Canada, that border is the longest border uh, in the okay. world. Really? Mm-hmm. More than, what's that, Russia, China? 8,850 kilometers, kilometers. And what's the Russia, China? Couldn't tell you. They touch, right? Hmm. Okay. Um, Lake Superior could cover all the land in the Western Hemisphere with the amount of water that's in it. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So not surface area. Right. Volume. Mm-hmm. Okay. Huh. All right. Oh, here is a good one. You do not need a driver's license to race in NASCAR. Really? I mean, come on, America, NASCAR, that's, yeah, isn't that funny? Um, I get it, but that's, like, your license, I didn't think was to drive on the road. I thought it was to operate a motor vehicle. This is even if you've had your driver's license suspended or for breaking road rules in your daily life, you can still go for gold in NASCAR. Okay, so that's if it's suspended, but you still have to have gotten it, No, right? Mm -mm. Because if it's suspended, technically, you don't have one, you, you can't drive, and if you don't have one you also can't drive but in both scenarios you can still race in nascar hmm. okay um tallest president was abraham lincoln i think that's a common one right there are more bourbon barrels than people in kentucky okay uh pentagon has some serious office space has the largest office building in the world by floor area largest office space in the world floor okay interesting uh, more people live in New York than 40 out of 50 states. New York City, excuse me. So there's only 10 states mm-hmm. that have more population than the city of New York. Um, Kansas produces enough wheat in one year to feed everyone in the world for two weeks. In one year? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, kind of on your hot dog thing, Americans eat around 100 acres of pizza every day. That's that around explains th- a lot. That's around 300 billion pizzas a year. Holy crap. That's a lot. That is a ton. Um, Wait, hold on a minute. Three hundred billion a year. A year, and it said m- most the, of these. Most of these the come, country. Just our country. Most of these come around Super Bowl. I don't know how I feel about that math. Is hmm. that pizzas or pieces of pizza? Pizzas. Three hundred billion. So pizzas at a, a year. population, at a population of three hundred thirty million, that's nine hundred pizzas a person per year. Nice. <laughs> so divided by 365 that's two and a half pizzas per day per american Ooh, might have to get pizza for lunch just to keep the stats up <laughs> <laughs> i'm slacking this year i just gotta that sounds, mess- that sounds like a lot of wasted pizza that well that was my first thought is like all these 
hundreds of thousands of restaurants that like make pizza and then they just sit there underneath the, the heat lamp and then they're like, oh, yeah. we can't sell anything. So see you later. Yeah. Thousand percent. Hmm. 900 per person per year. Quick off topic. I just got this message on my watch it says former number one NFL draft. Right, you got to go. This in from uh from from Sheffy here. Uh, former number one NFL draft pick fired as high school football coach. Accused of taking seventy four thousand dollar check meant as a donation to school. And the picture to me, I think it's Jamarcus Russell because it's number two and it's um, Raiders. I want to say. Oh, yeah, then that's probably it. I want to say that sounds like something he would do, but I also want to say who in their right mind would hire that guy as a head coach? Yeah, it's high school. Oh, you know. Yeah. Uh, Jamarcus Russell out as Williamson assistant, former NFL QB. Oh, he wasn't even the head coach. He was the assistant. (laughs) Good Lord. Yeah. Huh. That's great. Good for him. All right. Got a few more for you. Um, the U.S. has lots of tornadoes and hurricanes, so three out of four tornadoes in the world are in the U.S., um, and we've had the most hurricanes since 1850 than any other country at almost 300. Interesting. Right? Um, oh, <laughs> Independence Day didn't happen on July 4th. I think we uh, we know that now. Maybe that's where I saw we it, to be honest. That. that might be where I saw it when uh, I said, oh, I knew that. Um, George Washington wasn't hmm. the first president to live in the White House. It was John Adams. He wasn't his- even the first president. True. Te- technically. 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 Right? Yeah. Uh, John Adams and his wife, Abigail, were the first to live there. Uh, Washington had it built, but never got to live in it. That sucks. That sucks, right? Um, Empire State Building has its own zip code. All right, this one's out to our boy, Tally. Uh, Idaho has a lot of rivers. The length of the state's rivers could stretch across the U.S. 40 times. Longest river being the Snake River, which covers... 1700 kilometers is one of the main tributaries of the mighty Columbia River. Atlantic, know that. Atlantic City has the world's longest boardwalk. There you go. Is that just like um, a thing made of boards? Like, is that how that's defined? I feel like it's got to be on a beach, right? I don't know. Whenever I think of a boardwalk, it's like it's at the Does beach. It have to be. And there's carnival games and there's french fries and there's. Yeah. I mean, that, weird. but that's is. That because we grew up where we did? Yeah, that's true. Um, it claims the title of being the first boardwalk in the country, stretching for over seven kilometers. It was originally built to limit the amount of sand that people took with them from the beach into hotels and trains. You can now find a bunch of hotels, restaurants, casinos, shops, and more along the boardwalk. Hmm. Uh, Crater Lake takes out the title of the deepest lake in the U.S., as well as the ninth deepest lake on Earth. At 592 meters deep, that's enough to cover six Statues of Liberty stacked on top of each other. If you want to go for a swim, there's only one safe spot to swim in Crater Lake, and it only opens from mid to late June each year. I don't even know where Crater okay. Lake is. Where is that? I mean, like Colorado or... Oh, it's in Oregon. It is. So Crater from Lake, getting the name... hundred years ago. I was going to say from an, uh, like a, something that hit the earth and formed it, hence the name Crater Lake, or just because of the shape mm. of it. Yeah, I'm going to go with the shape. Shape. Yeah, yeah, I'll just stick with you. Okay. The last one I had, we've already talked about on a previous cast, was um, New York used to be called New Amsterdam. And that's my, my trivia. Did you know that Taco Bell is the center of U.S. intelligence? Go on. What would you guess that the center of intelligence is for the United States? The, the CIA? No, that's the agency, like the physical landmark. A physical, be more uh, Pacific. A building. You mentioned it in one of your things. Pentagon. Think, okay. Think all, yeah, yeah, there yeah. you go. Okay. So that that's commonly believed that is what the center of intelligence is in the in the country. So is the Pentagon really just like Taco Bell's headquarters? No, but if you look at the very <laughs> center of the Pentagon. Yeah. Look at the image I just sent you, if you can. <laughs> Taco Bell, Mexican-inspired fast food chain. Wait, is that really a Taco because Bell if, in the middle of the, ten- of the Pentagon? Or did somebody I don't know if it there? is any... No, nah, I think it used to be. I don't think it is anymore. But yeah, Wait, if so the Pentagon is the center of intelligence, and at the very center of the Pentagon is a Taco Bell, then that makes Taco Bell the center of intelligence. So they're like the Los, Los Polos Locos of... Uh, yeah, like, like, of us. So, it used to be a Taco Bell. So the U.S. government has infinite amount of money and, and has all the resources in the world. And they said, OK, we're going to put our 
most important building with all of our country's secrets and agencies and everything in it. And in the middle, so everyone can have it for lunch, is going to be a Taco Bell. <laughs> Employees got to eat, dude. I mean, at least like uh, get them a Chipotle or something. Like you got them a Taco Bell. Well, like, yeah, I don't know if Chipotle was as pop. I don't know how old. It's been years since I've seen this image. That's just the funniest but, thing. Unless that that yeah. building in the center, which I didn't even know was there. I didn't know there was. It's a probably just court. a little like food food court. That's thing. what I was thinking. Is like it's like surrounded with. You go to the yeah, mall and there's, and there's, there's probably Subway, a Taco Bell. There. There's Chick Fil A. Yeah. There's Taco Bell. That's really that was, funny. That was my guess. That's really funny. But I thought that was good. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take a second to ask that you all hit those like and subscribe buttons. Or if you're an audio listener, go ahead and give the guys five stars. Thanks for listening. Now back to the Poor Choices show. All right. So how, how familiar are you? Or I guess, did you even know that there was a U.S. flag code? I would say maybe somewhat familiar, like you can fly it in certain directions or it can go in certain directions depending on where and how you're placing it. If it's a sticker or an actual flag or what position it's in, um, can't touch, right. the gra- can't touch the ground, um, disposal methods, that sort of thing. Right, right, right. Proper folding methods, that kind of stuff. Um, that's probably about the extent of it though. Okay. So I don't know why I'm more familiar with it. I don't know if it's from when I was in the military. I don't know if it was just something I came across and was like, oh, that stuff's good to know. But ever since I read it, it's been kind of funny to me how the 4th of July, as it's meant to be a day honoring the country and commemorating the Declaration of Independence Day, um, directly violates the flag code. In what sense? So in the U.S. flag code, Chapter 8, Section I, it says the flag should never be used for advertising purposes in any manner whatsoever. It should not be embroidered on such articles as cushions or handkerchiefs and the like printed or otherwise impressed on paper, napkin or boxes or anything that is designed for temporary use and discard. They slap that shit on everything. Advertising signs should not be fastened to a staff or halyard, blah, blah, blah. So what do you... You go to the store and all you fucking see is like paper plates and napkins and that are all, all, all USA that flags, American flag. Yeah, like around the Fourth of July. So we're we're celebrating us becoming a country by disrespecting the flag. So it's only for things that are, like you said, like temporary and going to get disposed after one use kind of thing. Right. Okay. Well, yes, but also for any advertising purposes in any manner whatsoever. So. I mean, if you're driving that's down like the highway, every you see like used car a billboard for a lawyer. Yeah, every but, used car dealership in the background is like a waving American flag right. <laughs> on the commercial. So it's, like it's everyday occurrences. It's just the irony of the Fourth of July disrespecting it is has always just been humorous to me. Yeah, I think that the ones that we just <clears> touched <throat> on, like how much do you know about it? I think those are the ones that I think most people are like knowledgeable on, and or will call people out for. And right in some sense, like. I'm not so. going to say like if I drive, if I'm like sitting behind a car that has like a magnet or some kind of sticker or something and it's facing the wrong way, there are people out there that are going to be like, they're going to go up to that car. They're sitting at a red light. They're going to get out and go, your flag's the wrong way. How dare you? Yeah. And that. But yeah. then they're going to go home and they're going to eat off their American flag paper plate and they're going to yep. chuck it in the trash. Exactly. Yeah. I've always yeah. thought it was funny because when it's displayed on like on your shoulders, like a patch. Right. The union's supposed to be facing forward. So I always left. Typically you see in like movies and shit like that, you know, they're wearing whatever knockoff brand clothes and they have a American flag and it's always facing forward. And I'm like, ah, ah, that's wrong. Well, here, let me ask you this. I have a hat right here that when it sits on my head, the union is facing forward. Yeah. So that's right. That's right. Okay. That's how it's supposed to be. Although I don't remember what section it was, but there was also something about that. So... Yeah, because that doesn't that have like the, that doesn't have the stars on it. That has it's the brand logo where the stars would be, right? Which is also against the flag code. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I like this hat, so I'm gonna keep wearing it. Yeah, keep doing <laughs> it, keep doing it. <clears throat> and then, so while I was looking for that exact section, I came across section J, which says no part of the flag should ever be used as a costume or athletic uniform. However, a flag patch, blah 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 blah. And that got me thinking: would that be applicable to like the Patriots? logo slash uniform Mm. so my first thought was technically part of the flag it definitely is um i have that maryland flag onesie zip up 
uniform man thing. Yeah. But they also make that in an American flag. Would that be the same thing? I think that would go more towards not like, because I wouldn't say that's like a uniform. Oh, but it says costume. So yeah, that would. Right. Yeah, that goes against mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. So another thing that is ironic because they're the Patriots while violating the flag code. <laughs> well, do, so. the, do do codes like that apply to, and I know not every state out there is as prideful as our home state of Maryland, which I would argue is probably the most prideful state for whatever reason. Maryland just loves their flag and their colors and their state. Right. It's, it's just... Um, yeah, with, and it's with so those, funny when, when you Google like, like top flags, like top state flags, Maryland's either like one through three or like well, 48 to 50. It's, like, I'll be it's honest. never it's like a, middle of the road on any list. It's ugly as shit, but yeah, God damn, do we embrace it? I'm literally wearing shorts right now that both sides of the short are the Maryland flag. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, God damn, do we love it? But um, so what I what I assume your question is going to be, I would imagine every state has their own flag code. OK, so it's not just in general sense, kind of like, no, that's U.S. flag code. So I don't I think the obvious ones would be don't let it. I think don't let it touch the ground. It's just a sign of disrespect. And yeah, and that falls kind of under. I know at least for this, there's like a like chapter eight is disrespecting the flag or, or what like about things not to do. You see it a lot. Maybe this time of year, July 4th or like elections and stuff and like people will put. You know, just like the little American flags on like those wooden doll rods, like just like in their yard, but they put them in and like the flags long enough where it's like scraping against the ground. Like they'll put, they'll, they'll, they'll like line their whole sidewalk with them and all of them are just like touching the grass kind of thing. Yeah. So that would go against, I think, a few things um, if it does touch the ground. And also, unless it's an all weather flag, it's supposed to be taken down in inclement weather. And I doubt yeah. those little 50 cent flags are all weather and i doubt people are bringing in all 100 of definitely them when it not. rains so definitely not but so what about just, something uh, like this like my logo on my shirt um yeah i think that would violate it too i have like six things that have something like this on <laughs> yeah <laughs> but that's but that's okay <laughs> so and, and every time i talk about the flag code it reminds me i don't know if i told you the story about uh I lived at the house in Mary Esther and Hernandez was living with us. Mm-hmm. He was, he got home from work and he was walking inside like in all his military shit. And there was this dude walking down the street. And I don't know if you remember, I had a Maryland flag and mm-hmm. an American flag out mm-hmm. front of the house. And he said, the guy had like stopped him and was like, Hey, um, you know, that flag's not speed supposed to be displayed like that. Like it's supposed to be higher than right. Than right. Flag. The state flag. Right. Yeah. And Hernandez was like, bro, I just live here. <laughs> so and he came inside and he told me about it. And I'm like, well, next time that fucking dude walks by, come tell me because it's fun to act like you know what you're talking about, but you got to know what you're talking about. And I pulled it up and chapter seven, section C says no other flag or pennant should be placed above or if on the same level to the right of the flag. Yeah, so so if they're guy. on the same level, right. it just has to be on the right, which it was. All right. So I'm like, fucking come at me, guy. <laughs> Keep walking your little fucking poodle down the street. But, so, yeah, I just think it's it's funny. Fourth of July, just they're like, fuck the flag, fuck the code. I think it's those main we just, ones that, we're trying that, to get that will freak people out. I think it's those main those yeah. main few that are like, how dare you? But, yeah, if it's on your shirt or your and, and our eyes here in America, it's like, oh, that guy is a he's supporting whatever he's supporting. Plus the U.S. or it's right. just, it, it doesn't fall into that. Your first thought isn't. That's disrespecting the flag, you know? Right. But technically, it Te- should be. According because, to the, right. right. There's nothing in here that says, like, you know, this chapter takes precedence over, over this chapter. Who, and is who like, wrote these articles? Isn't, isn't who, who wrote these rules? Um, that's a good question. Probably Ulysses, Ulysses Grant. Grant in 1870. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me find out. <laughs> you mean Haram? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Haram Ulysses. Let's see. Uh, on that. So prior to Flag Day... June 14th, 1923, neither the federal government nor the states had official guidelines governing the display of the United States flag. What year was that? On that, hold on, on that date, the National Flag Code was constructed by the representatives of over 68 organizations. Uh, Basically, the National Americanism Commission of the American Legion on June 14th, 1923. Oh, so it's been a while. Okay. Which, hold on. On June 22nd, 1942, the code became public law. Uh, Maybe that changed. 
So there's, it looks like there's been like a, a bunch of amendments and stuff too. It says the Freedom to Display the American Flag Act of 2005 prohibits real estate management organizations from restricting homeowners from displaying the flag. So that's cool. Well, we are also one of maybe a handful of countries that are big and about displaying our flag. Like majority yeah. of the world, you're not going into England and there's people with Union Jacks hanging outside their house. It's just not like a, it's yeah. not a thing. Like you just don't. There are some countries that are big on it, but we're definitely the fuck yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we're the best, right? If the if the Ravens finished last in the division, are you flying a Ravens flag on your antenna down the street? Like you're gonna be like, ah, not really proud of that. <laughs> but when you're the best, we don't. You got to show less. you're the best. We don't finish last. We don't. <laughs> but if you did, is my point. Like you said, the Union Jacks thing. Like that's that's who we separated from, right? Well, I mean, they're they have their own. I mean, right, but they lost us, so we're going to wave the flag. They're not going to be like, ah, we lost. They're probably the biggest colonizing country in modern times that's ever existed. Like, England has owned so much land. Why wouldn't you want to, like, hell yeah, we took over all this shit. This was us. Because it's not great, I guess. I mean, we do a lot of not great things either, you know. No, I mean, just, yeah, that's true. I don't know. You could say, like, you could brag about having 400 acres, but if it's in Antarctica, you're not going to be like... Fuck nah, yeah. that's the best I got. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, like fuck yeah. <laughs> you know, you know that America fuck yeah song from Team America World Police. Yeah, it's like America fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah. Can you can you name any of the stuff that they say fuck yeah to America? And then he lists like a bunch of stuff. No, nope. not a single thing. Nope. All right, I'm gonna go through verse two for you. It's like eight things. Okay. Right, so America fuck yeah. What are you gonna do when we come for you now? It's the dream that we all share. It's the hope for tomorrow. McDonald's. Fuck That's yeah. What Walmart. Fuck yeah. The Gap. The Gap? Like yeah. the store? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck maybe? <laughs> Baseball. <laughs> Fuck yeah. NFL. Fuck yeah. Rock and roll. Fuck. Fuck yeah. The internet. Or is there that? I don't know which one it is. <laughs> yeah. Which? Go. Which? Is there a thumb? No. No. Yeah. Okay. I did it right. Internet, fuck yeah. Slavery. Eh, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> that was the perfect response. <laughs> it's a trap. Boy said, eh. eh and today. then he goes, he goes down to Starbucks, Disney World, Porno, Valium, Rebox, Fake Tips, Sushi, Taco Bell, Rodeos, Bed Bath & Beyond, Liberty, Wax Lips, The Alamo, Band-Aids, Las Vegas, Christmas, Immigrants, Popeye, Democrats, Republicans, Sportsmanship, Books. <laughs> books so he says fuck yeah to slavery he does <laughs> interesting well that's i don't know how you how i feel about you trying to set me up there uh you <laughs> responded perfectly you were you were all <laughs> but about what if the, i didn't you were all about the fuck yes and then you i was hoping you were just gonna slip up like he just wants me to say fuck yeah i'm not even listening to what he's saying but you went <laughs> you went man <laughs> <"Meh, laughs> i don't know about that so good job you won you won awesome i'll take the dub so to that uh, freedom of freedom to display the American flag act, making it illegal to prohibit, blah, blah, blah. Um, I have some some other oddly illegal things. Oh, is this going to be like you can't like carry bacon in your left pocket in the state of Alabama kind of thing? Yeah, I don't know if I have any of that weird, but I have. Okay. Uh, let's see. What, seven, seven or eight states here and just weird things that are illegal there. So in in Washington state. It is illegal to kill Bigfoot. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You'll get arrested <laughs> immediately. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, in Vermont, uh, there is no forbidding people from putting up clotheslines. So you're not allowed to tell someone they're not allowed to put yeah, up a clothesline. I'm, I'm just imagining like your Karen neighbor, like, I forbid you to put that up. <laughs> Too bad you can't. <laughs> yeah, I think it's more so like uh, it's like the flag coat thing. Like an HOA is not allowed to tell you. You can't no have a clothesline. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, in Tennessee, you can't hold public office if you've been in a duel. <laughs> now, what classifies a duel? <clears throat> I don't I'm sure there's there's like guidelines I, but the I image that you, was next to it was two people fencing. Yeah, right. Like no one's doing that or like taking 20 paces anymore. Like but right. would you consider a duel like if we played a round of like Super Smash Bros like I'm dueling you? Like 
I guess if we we called it that first before we started, <laughs> like, sir, I challenge you to do a duel. You want to play Super Smash Bros? All right, let's do it. You're taking a polygraph <laughs> before you take office, and they're like, "Did you this, duel with this Christopher?" This shows in 2002 in, in, on GameCube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were Link, and he was Samus. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, right. uh, I don't recall. I don't recall. <laughs> in in Pennsylvania, it's legal to barter infant children barter as in like try to sell them like trade them for other goods hmm. okay i wonder if that's like because of the amish i don't know <laughs> oh maybe right i don't know because everywhere obviously it's illegal under i'm sure different laws everywhere like, else like but, i'll give like, you to have it explicitly for, yeah. my, for your horse or something for ba- like. bartholomew yeah yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. and and a stick of butter yeah hmm. um this is a good one in in idaho cannibalism is illegal except in extreme circumstances like you're stranded and the dude next to you died and you got to eat him to survive it says most of us assume that eating fellow humans doesn't fly but in idaho it's clarified in the law though the law also says it's a legitimate defense to have committed cannibalism under extreme life-threatening conditions as the only apparent means of survival unless you murdered the dude to eat him or do that i mean uh, uh, okay so we're stranded on an island we'll go back to that scenario yeah. If if I murder you and eat you, can I still claim defense for that being an extreme life threatening condition? You probably could and be like, oh yeah, he he died of dehydration, so I ate him. Even though you actually killed me, like who's gonna? Well, know? I mean, they would do an autopsy. Well, I'm on what like if, you ate me. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> right. Good point. Maybe if I like started at the bottom and then we got rescued. And, uh, okay. Like, like I only made it up to your rib cage, but you have like a slit throat. Or, yeah, oh, this guy was choked to death by coconut husks. Like, what's going yeah. on here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right, I got a few more. Um, mm-hmm. In Kentucky, it's legal to use reptiles in religious services. <laughs> I don't remember Father Frank ever ever whipping out a iguana, but... Right. Praise be the bearded dragon. <laughs> yeah, I guess in Kentucky, that's, that's a thing. Um, Our father, son, and gecko heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Crickets be, be thy like, name. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Father, son, and holy cricket. <laughs> Crickets be uh, thy dinner. Right, right. You go up to collect so, the, the, you know, the um, the body of Christ, and it's like, <laughs> he just has like a lizard on his shoulder. <laughs> just his tongue going, nah, nah, <laughs> you go nah. You go to grab it, and the lizard's like, and just nah. grabs it right out of your hand. Yeah. Yeah. He has a chameleon. It's like, bow, right in your face. Like, no, sir. <laughs> uh, so, in, in Idaho... Do they do the body of Christ? Because that's cannibalism, isn't it? Uh, mm, Metaphoric, mm. but like, if your faith says this is the body of Christ, hmm, mm-hmm. we'll have to ask. We'll have to have to ask Tally about that one. <laughs> Maybe we ask. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this this one is probably broken a lot, but in Nevada, it's illegal to lie down on the sidewalk. It's literally being broken right now as we're talking. Yeah, probably yeah. by like thousands of people. Mm. Mm-hmm. Huh. Maybe, Why? Never mind, I'm not going to. I was going to make a bad joke. Like I could see maybe on the strip it being a safety concern, but. I, maybe to deter homeless people. I don't. But in, I don't, in the whole state, you can't do it is a little wild. Maybe it's a uh, a safety thing. They're like, hey, it's really fucking hot. So let's mm. just make it illegal so you don't do it. You're literally going to cook if you lay down yeah. on the sidewalk? Okay. But I then why that. wouldn't it be in, like, Texas and Arizona? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good point, too. Hmm. Interesting. I like those. Yeah. Well, I got the last one is uh, in Maine. There's no dancing at a bar that sells alcohol unless the bar has a permit. A permit to dance or? For, I, yeah, I guess. Cause you sell you alcohol. <laughs> yeah, you can't sell alcohol without the yeah. permit. I'm going to go with, like, a dancing permit. A dancing permit. And who who... That's me. Signs off on a dancing permit. Uh, like, who's the. Uh, this, this place is allowed. This place can permit dancing. Who signs that? Like, I'm going to say the Municipal Dancing Authority of Maine. Oh, uh, okay. I thought. I, don't I was I was going with they voted for a dancing queen. <laughs> dancing queen. Okay. So, uh, anyways. Yeah, I don't. And maybe. What if, like, to get your permit, like, you had to go to apply, but you had to bring. <laughs> you had like, to dance. Oh, you, you had, had to dance not, to get it? No, you had to bring like three people that were projected to dance at your bar. <laughs> projected and, like, to dance. Yeah. And they had to score whatever. 
all you got to do is just bring in three people that are like already lit and like they're just yeah. gonna start dancing anyways like <laughs> or like if you didn't have a permit like whatever governing authority that is like if they come to your bar and there's people dancing it's not like an automatic fine but that governing authority has like like a professional dancer and you have to pick one of your dancers and they have to go like battle oh hell and then yeah. like if like you lose on, then you have like, to yeah if you lose yeah. you have to pay the fine but if you yeah. win you don't have to pay the fine i like that did you do um did you look up one for maryland i'm just curious uh i didn't but let me uh or florida let's make sure i don't get arrested for uh <laughs> sneezing in public or something like yeah let me uh, uh see if i can florida's gonna be like you can't marry your cousin unless it's your second or third cousin <laughs> that would be a good one <laughs> so it's weird laws that have been passed in every state so it's not a thing anymore but for florida it says accidental ban on all computers florida ran into a bit of trouble in 2013 when it accidentally banned all computers in the state a confusingly worded law designed to ban internet cafes involved in illegal gambling prompted a lawsuit <laughs> arguing that the ban could be interpreted to apply to any internet connected device so in 2013 the whole state of florida was breaking the law correct and how about maryland and for maryland no cursing allowed in Rockville, it's illegal to profanely curse and swear or use obscene language upon or near any street, sidewalk, or highway within the hearing of persons passing by upon or along such street, sidewalk, or highway. So I go stand on the corner in Rockville and just, fuck! And then that's illegal. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I could you could do that in any state and get dis disturbing the peace, I guess, right? Um, In a sense. Yeah, if you, I if guess. If you kept doing it over and over and there's, yeah. you know, like a field Enough trip out there or something. Yeah. Or, yeah. I don't know what the uh, qualifications are for that. Interesting. No cursing. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Okay. We'll have to, well, to save some of the other ones. They're, they're pretty funny. Um, Why don't we get on that jersey you're wearing? Episode right. 21. You're wearing 21. 21 things. We're legal. 21 questions. 21 questions. Bow, 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 bow. Don't copyright that, YouTube. Thank you. Okay. Um, and For... for <laughs> anybody watching this is dion not the other guy yes yes um well i'm kind of stealing your 20 segment i want to give you a chance to name top players to ever wear the number 21 um i have lucky 11, i didn't look this up because I, I have about it uh-huh i have 11 names here but i don't <clears throat> necessarily need all 11 i just kind of want to see where your head's at and it's it's got football one two baseball and basketball one basketball, two basketball. Several. Um, uh, one, okay. two, three, four basketball. So hmm. five of the 11 are NFL, four are NBA, and then two are MLB. Okay. Well, we'll start with primetime. Primetime. Bam. Um, maybe Charles Woodson. Yep. Got him. Bam. Hmm. I'm trying to think any running backs. I have two on this list. How old are they? Our time, our they were. We watched them play. They're not playing anymore, but we watched them play. Okay, one's going to be Frank Gore. Yep. The other one's going to be Ladanian Tomlinson. That is correct. Um, you have no more NFL players left on my list. All right. Uh, ew, baseball. I don't know if I'm going to know. Been um, out, of, out of the game. Yeah, one I put just because he's just his accolades, but he's back. We talked about him maybe first couple episodes of the of the podcast old old dude he was an olympian he did this he did that um hmm. the other though is a good one we also watched him but no longer plays no no longer plays he was in a competition with another mlb player during the okay. same year maybe two years sammy like a, sammy sammy mm -hmm. okay who and i forgot was other? an oriole remember that yeah, sammy yeah for like for like an hour and a half mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. other guy was jim thorpe mm. okay Remember, Which we also talked, played about, talked football? about him. Um, football, baseball, Olympian. He was just everything. Okay. All right. Um, Rest for basketball. I got one. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. There's one more old school baseball. Might as well just give it to me. I'm going to say 60s Pirates. Probably the best known all-time pirate player of all time. Barry Bonds? <laughs> no, 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 no. Who was probably the best known pirate? Not in the 60s. How about Roberto Clemente? That's him. That's the boy. You know why I knew that? No. When I was in, probably around the time we first met, but a little before, I had a book 
on Roberto Clemente. I don't know so, why. I don't know why it was gotten for me. But I did that's a report. The only reason I even know he exists. I did a report on Roberto Clemente in like middle school because you had to pick somebody, yeah, and, like learn about their life and like present it. That's really funny. Okay. Yeah, that's the I only reason why I, I picked him. Know who that is? Yeah, I don't know why I had that book. <laughs> all right, so you have well, one, two, three, four more, and they're all NBA. All right, one's going to be Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan, bam. One might be Kevin Garnett. Bam, Kevin Garnett, okay. KG. 21, one's old school, 21. one's new school. How old school? Uh, I, th- I want to say mm, 70s or 80s. I'm not that big on NBA, so uh, he was a Celtic, if that helps. Boston. No, I know it wasn't Larry. No, that's 33. I don't even like NBA. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I didn't think he was that old. It's not Dominic? Dominique? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's his last name? I want to say Perkins, but I don't think oh, that's right. Oh, you're close. You're close. It ends in ins. How about you just tell me and give it to me? It's Dominique Wilkins. Wilkins. That's right. I think I was and, getting him mixed up with Kendrick Perkins. And we got one more. And he's still playing? I don't think so. Let me pull him up. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, no. He's on the Heat currently, but also wearing number 22 on the Heat, but known for wearing 21. Still playing. Still playing. Um, Is it Udonis Haslam? No. <laughs> um. I think he was a, a wizard for a while, I think. Let me pull up his Wikipedia. John? No. Hmm. No. So he was drafted by the Bulls, then played for Timberwolves, then the 76ers, and now he's a Miami Heat. Derek? Uh-uh. Six-time NBA All-Star, All-NBA second team, four-time third team, five-time Read defensive. those. Read those teams again. Uh, Bulls, 2011 to 2017. Timberwolves seventeen to eighteen, seventy sixers eighteen to nineteen, and Miami Heat nineteen to present. His nickname is his first name Buckets. Uh, Blank Buckets. Okay. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. Mm-hmm. Jimmy Buckets. Hmm. Okay. There you go. That's my I did better my, than I thought I would. Yeah, you did really good. You got every NBA one like su- or NFL one super quick. Um, the only one you needed help with was Thorpe and Wilkins and and Jimmy B and and Clemente in a way, sort of, kind of. The other one I almost put on there was a pitcher. Can you think of a pitcher that wore 21? What if I said the Rocket? That was his nickname. Roger? Yeah. Roger Clemens. Mm-hmm. I'm, he definitely should have been on there. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of people that wore 21. I just kind of went yeah. with. Yeah. Uh, okay. Kind of big names. The bigger the bigger names, I should say. He wasn't 21 everywhere, though, was he? Or his I whole? I don't, I don't think so. Okay. But I think that was his main yeah. number. Like his career. Okay. Well, good job. Cool. Nice. Hell yeah. Thanks. Thanks. All right. I'll get us back to uh, America. America. All right. You want to play a game? Please. Yes. I think we've just been doing trivia and questions all game, all day. So yeah. Let's, yeah, let's play a game. Well, this is kind of trivia, but more, more a game. This game's called Who Said It? I'm going to give you some quotes, and you're going to tell me if these quotes came from a U.S. president <laughs> or from Nicolas Cage in National Treasure. <laughs> I think I might be good at this because I've seen that movie a lot. Um, yeah, so I, I really hope one of your quotes is I should 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 because that's a president. This, that's a president. <laughs> this took so long to build because I think I'm going to be good at this because I was a national treasure. Yeah, there there's only so many things he says that you're like I don't know if that's from the movie. I think I'm going to be good at this, but let's see. Let's see. I'm excited. Okay, the first one is. Believe you can, and you're halfway there. Nicholas Cage. That was Teddy Roosevelt. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so my first thought was that's when they're they've discovered under the tomb in Philadelphia and like those boards are breaking, like they're going yeah. down that thing. Yeah. That was my first thought is like, believe you can do it and you're halfway there. Like he's trying to hype up his wife, Abigail, or his dad. Right. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> that was Theodore Roosevelt. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was old Teddy. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right. If you want a friend in Washington, get a dog. Mm, I thought I knew National Treasure. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Nicolas Cage. That is Harry Truman. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Uh, All right. Let's see. Which one? I'm just hedging my bet at this point. Like, yeah. The next one is there's nothing left to do but get drunk. Does he say that in National Treasure? There's nothing left to do but get drunk. I don't think he does. I'm going to say president. You're correct. That was Franklin Pierce. When did he serve? 
trying to go back to those know. days. There's no nothing idea. left to do but get drunk. Yeah, uh, I think from what I remember seeing, that was um, something, some interview, like, as he was leaving office. Like, what are you going to do now that you're no longer mm. president? All right. Um, we don't need someone crazy, but one step short of crazy. Nicholas. That was Nicholas. Good job. Good job. Okay. All right. I'd really love to not go to prison. Oh, Nicholas. He's, I almost he's, didn't put that one on there. He's he's on the phone with the head of the FBI guy, and he's because yeah. they just discovered the treasure. And he's like, "Is there anything else?" And he's like, "I'd really love not to go to prison." And then he goes, "No, I think." And then he I think goes, he says that when he's with it, when he's on the phone with him, I think he says, um, "Like what's behind door number three? Mm-hmm. And then he says, "Someone's got to go to prison, Ben." And he says, "Well, if you have a if you have a helicopter or an airplane or something," then he sends him to go get Sean Bean and uh. In Boston, yeah. where he sent him. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Um, if it means there's something wrong, those who have the ability to take action have the responsibility to take action. Mm, that could be Nick. If it Hold means... on. Let me, re- let me read that again. Yeah. It, me- it means if there's something wrong, those who have the ability to take action. Oh, that's action... Nicholas. Yeah, that's Nicholas. Okay. Mm-hmm. You are correct. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. I got two more. Okay. You don't know how to lie. If you can't lie, you will never go anywhere president that was that was richard nixon (laughs) of course it was (laughs) and the last one is i have often wanted to drown my troubles but i can't get my wife to go swimming president that was jimmy carter nice okay that was a fun game i was good i like that who said it well that's (laughs) it i heard i I think i was watching i saw some like real or short or something of some like comedy thing and uh it was like I don't remember. It was like, who said it? Batman or like some political figure or something Mm -hmm. like that. And I was like, we should do one of those. Yeah. Not in my city. (laughs) (laughs) So this week on my Ask Reddit, I have, what's the funniest thing a president has said? Mm. It's Joe Biden talking about touching legs, blonde hair and his blonde leg hair. Yeah, that's a good one. That's freaking hilarious. (laughs) So full disclosure, like half of these are George Bush. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> and there's there's yeah okay so so the first one is uh george bush said i do not like broccoli and i haven't liked it since i was a little kid and my mother made me eat it and i'm president of the united states and i'm not going to eat any more broccoli <laughs> <laughs> that without any context is hilarious oh <laughs> uh, i'm not gonna ne- do it <laughs> <laughs> the next one is the next one is Trump on Hurricane Florence. Mm-hmm. This is a tough hurricane, one of the wettest we've ever seen from the standpoint of water. <laughs> no, no, Trump, from the standpoint of wind. <laughs> <laughs> the next one is <sighs> former former Vice President Dan Quayle, who said, I love California. I practically grew up in Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> How does... How does someone like <laughs> say that and get where they got? Like, <laughs> I couldn't tell you. Jesus. Another Trump one I've got is, uh, I've never seen a thin person drinking Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's, that's not bad. It's not. I mean, it's true. <laughs> it's I don't know bad. what the context was, but. Uh, Cause thin people just aren't drinking soda in general. Mm-hmm. So yeah. 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 The next one I have is from Jimmy Carter. Terrorists never stop thinking of ways to harm Americans and neither do we. All right, Jimmy. Well, <laughs> should have thought that one through a little more. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm not entirely sure what he was going for there. We um, never stop thinking about harming terrorists. I, I, you would assume that's what he's going for, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the funny. next one I've got is Truman. My choice early in life was either to be a piano player in a whorehouse or a politician. And to tell you the truth, there's hardly any difference. Wow. Hey, at least he's you know truthful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the last three I have are all George Bush. Heck yeah. I know the human being and fish can coexist peacefully. <laughs> <laughs> and this, these are all George W., right? Not George Sr.? Yes. Okay. Yeah, no, this, okay. these are W. Okay. <laughs> the next one is, I couldn't imagine someone like Osama bin Laden understanding the joy of Hanukkah. <laughs> Why would... I don't care what the question was. What a terrible answer. <laughs> <laughs> and this, like, 40% of the responses were this one. I call upon all nations to do everything they can to stop these terrorist killers. Thank you. 
Now watch this drive. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is he on Did the golf course? That one? No. He's on the golf course, and they're interviewing him, and he's like, you know, clutching driver, answers the question, and he's like, now watch this drive. See, I love that. That's really cool. <laughs> now watch me bomb this down the fairway. Yeah. That seemed to be See, that, one of the that iconic been ones. My, that might have been my favorite one. That was really funny. Yeah. Fuck so. you, terrorists. Now, now watch me pipe this. <laughs> yeah. And mine's probably every single thing that was said during this most recent debate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was telling you, I, I saw the highlights because you sent it to me and Andy in the group chat. Like, did you guys watch that craziness, that nonsense? And I was like, no, I, I didn't because I'm not. I'm not into it. Like I'm not right. into politics at all. Well, it's, and that was that was this like epiphany I had. I don't know if it was earlier this morning or last night. Was that it's so embarrassing oh, that this is I would the same say epiphany. like well, no, like like ninety five percent of people probably tuned in to watch it out of pure entertainment. Like oh, nobody wanted nobody right, wanted to hear their their okay. thoughts of what they're gonna do to make things better. It's like I want to see how big of a shit show this is gonna be. Like, well, they get they got it. Um, but my thought was the fact that we're in a country with what three hundred fifty million people, three give or take thirty three. I'm going three fifty. Well, this is from research ten I'm minutes just, ago when I looked I up the know. pizza thing. I, th- I think your your website might have been off. I think we're at three fifty. Oh, I believe it. That's documented. Um, so, but the fact that it's so rigged and just about the money and bullshit that these are our top two candidates is so blatantly obvious. But at the same time, nobody does shit about it. Is the main reason I'm like I don't really care, and what I say or vote doesn't matter because this shit is decided. It's paid for. It's just right. It's just nonsense. It's nonsense. Yeah, yeah. It's it's sad. Like you said, three hundred and however many million, and we and got these are the best. And we two got this, yeah. That can help like, us. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's, it's sad. one of the main reasons that he Trump won in the first round is because everyone went, "Well, oh, hell no, we're not voting for Hillary." Right. But then Trump said mean things, and now it's like you can you can tell that. But even that race was these are our best two. Yeah, I think it's it's been like that for probably the last handful of them, but it's just. I would say at least 50 years it's been like that. Yeah. You just have these people that are so anti-Trump that I feel like are are now questioning, do we really vote this other guy just so Trump's not elected? Like Because the last election, I feel it was like, if you're on the fence, you're going Biden because you know Trump's an idiot. But now it's like, you see how much Joe has digressed that you're like, right. I don't know if I can bring myself to do it just to spite Trump. So I now, think it'll I, be if I was to vote, which definitely not going to, it would right. be not in the direction of the guy who can't keep a thought form a sentence. Yeah, form a sentence is going to be in his upper eighties by the time he's out of office. Like no way, yeah, no way, no way. Now in that in that highlight thing you watched, did they show the 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 thirty second spat about golf? Yes, yes, they did, and it was yeah. hilarious. I was dying Dude, laughing. That was- because then the moderator was like, okay, okay, okay. All right, let's get off the golf. Like, yeah. all, right, all right, gentlemen, like, let's get back on topic. And he's and, like, I was a six handicap. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and Trump was like, I know that's not true. And, and then, and then, and then, <laughs> when the biggest started, lie told all night. And then when Joe started talking again, he was like, yeah, I was an eight handicap. Like, he changed yeah. the number. And I was he's, like, Jesus Christ. Uh, and he, he just sounded, his voice sounded Biden like just. Yeah. Well, like, I don't know if you heard. They said like an hour into the debate, they were like, oh, Biden, Biden has a cold. And you're like, of course, that's a cop out. Like, why wasn't this known? Why wasn't no? Why wasn't this pushed back? Like he has an old. Yeah. He's got that old itis. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. But honestly, I think the the biggest killer for Biden, I think, was the fact that like they were like, we're going to debate, but we're going to do it by Biden's rules. And part of those rules were cutting Trump's mic or cutting both mics. Oh, yeah. Like when their yeah, yeah. time was up. But you could still hear them. All, yeah, but not well enough. But my point is that I think that fucked Biden more than anything, because no matter how bad Trump wanted to keep talking, he was cut off mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. he would have looked like more of an idiot mm-hmm. had they not cut mm-hmm. it off. Mm-hmm. 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 But it just it made Joe look worse because he was forced to speak and he, <laughs> he didn't can't. know how. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's I think bad they news. shot themselves in the foot with that one. It's bad news. I'm I've I haven't cared in a long time about it, and I still don't. It's doesn't make any difference if yeah. I go or I don't go to the polls this year. It just doesn't. Yeah, don't. It votes, doesn't matter. Your votes either going to be 
forgot to be picked up or which I hate about all these celebrities and shows that are like your vote counts, go to the polls, do this, your vote matters, yada, yada. Well, if these are the two options we have, it doesn't, it doesn't matter because it no doesn't. matter who I vote, it's it's a loss. It's a loss. It's a yeah. loss. And it's decided who's already lost in one. We They already know who's going to be the president. It, it's, already, yeah. it's already done. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. It's been paid for. It's, it's happened. Yep. It's sad. Sad news. Tis. Okay. Well, I've got for my ask Reddit this week is some would you rathers. Would you rather be like a billionaire, like you have unlimited amount of money? Money is not an option. And that means if you take the money, you only get 800 calories worth of food a day. You can't go past 800 calories. Or you have unlimited food. You can eat whatever you want. Doesn't matter. And it won't like affect you. You could have 25 Big Macs. You're not going to gain weight. You're not going to nothing's nothing's going to change. You could you have the best metabolism in the world, but you can eat whatever Mm. you want anytime you want. It's all yours. Or would you rather be super, super rich? Money's never an option, but you can only have 800 calories per day. It's not a lot. 800 calories is not no, a lot. I think I'm, I'm think I'm taking the food. Yeah. 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 That'd be a lifetime of hungerness. Like you just always be yeah. hungry. I'm just from a from a quality of life standpoint. Mm-hmm. Yep. You can have all the helicopters and mansions and whatever Rolls yeah. Royces that you want, but you're always going to be starving. Now, can we loophole this and sell the food? Or is so it what, just consumption? So what food? The food that like that I eat or don't eat? Oh, if you didn't take the money option? Yeah, like if I you said I have unlimited food and I can eat whatever yeah, I want. Yeah, like anytime you think of a food, it's like bam, there it is. Like you got yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Now what if I just like Sold think it? of three thousand pounds of like Kobe wagyu beef? beef and yeah, then, yeah. And then I'm like <laughs> straight to Facebook uh, Marketplace. Like, can I do that or? You know, I didn't really think of that, so I'm going to say you can. Sure. Okay. That's a good I, mean, I, would, I would still do the food, but all the more reason to do the food. <laughs> I like how you still turn it into making money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just trying to think, like, if I was homeless, like, a billion dollars would be a lot, and I'm still, like, eating the same amount of food I already am, so I'm, like, used to it. Right, right. But if I'm homeless, I can get the food and also sell it to make money. Right. So I'm not, like, living in the gutter, but, you know, eating four-course meals and... Not even. I just yeah. eat freaking like gallons of ice cream at a time, just like going down the hatch. Oh well, unless God. it's cold out, you're homeless, so you don't want to be mm. 30, 32 degrees, and you're like, this fucking mint chocolate chip's great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having, I love my life. I'm yeah, glad I didn't is, take the money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> huh, yeah. Definitely going food. Okay. Um, would you rather possess the ability to communicate with animals, but that means you can no longer understand or speak the human language? No. In any in any language, no, no. How about have the power to manipulate probability in your favor, but every time you use it, you age twice as fast for the next week. Yes. Oh, that was easy. Yeah. So that's like, so I would be like, instead of one week passing, two weeks pass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would just bet my life savings on something, and then and just win it. Give up a whole week of your to, life. Yeah. Yeah, and then not have to do it again. Damn, well said. That's great. <laughs> um, last one. Uh, would you uh, be able to teleport anywhere in the world, but each time you do, you temporarily swap bodies with a random person at your destination, but just for an hour? Or or is this a million dollars butt? One? Yeah, it is nowhere. <laughs> there's, no Mi- <laughs> there's no Michael. <laughs> there's no rhyme or reason. There's no Michael. Okay, so this is... This is teleport anywhere in the world, but each time you do, you temporarily swap temporarily swap bodies with a random person at the place you teleported to, but just for an hour. I would definitely. So they're do in that. my body. Yeah, but just for an hour, I would definitely do it. Yeah, random person. Random person. It's just an hour. Like yeah, it's yeah, because they would they would be spending the entire hour like trying to figure out what the fuck just happened. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. It, it, you'd be you probably just once you swap back, still be at wherever they were like they wouldn't right. have probably gone to do anything they just unless, been- unless you well no so after that hour's up you're still where you are but like your body just comes back with no after that hour you are in your body at that destination that you teleported to yeah so they just go back to being who they were and your body just right. okay then yeah. yeah i was gonna say because if you had to like teleport back like you could go anywhere but you're someone else for an hour and then you go back you could like go back and be like strapped up in like a mental institution and you're like i can't get and then you'd have to like live your life through 
other people for no, yeah, hours no. at a time because you can't move. All you can do is teleport. And then they come in and they're like, what the fuck? Or if that random person was like, for some reason, was like the leader of the country you went to, like, oh, I'm the Queen of England for yeah. an hour. Oh, maybe not her. She's not around anymore. Uh, but you know what I mean? Like, you just what land you in tele- like this. What if you teleported and you switched with someone that was like suicidal? Ooh. And they like had a gun to their head, but then they like went and all of a sudden they're like in your room, but then they just look for like a pair of scissors and then to kill like, you. Yeah. Oh, damn. I'd still. I, I still I think would, that, that I would, that, that I would initial... use I would use my uh, my Switch. ability to enhance the probability of me winning bets to make sure that I don't swap with someone who's suicidal. So it's all it's a, listen, it's all it's all we're intermixing Marty, here. It's all the Marty McFly thought process. How can I make some money now that I've had this ability? I like Correct. It. I like yeah. it. I like it a lot. That was it. That was my in quotes. Would you rather? <laughs> slash ask reddit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> slash million dollars but slash one sentence there's no there's no or about it also yeah. you didn't you didn't even laugh or like my michael joke what was it i was were, i was deep you, in you thought saying, i heard you say michael but i was trying not to bide in it and lose my yeah yeah my you were saying you were saying or what i was like yeah you're right there's no michael like michael or okay uh like football player yeah. yeah i'm glad i'd <laughs> i didn't start thinking about that because i definitely would have lost where i was where i was going with with you, you would have gone with the was. you would have gone with the i i yeah uh, yeah i just, uh, uh, the, the covid yeah, i mean oh yeah. i mean the uh the the child care uh, yeah, uh, yeah, i have a yes. i have a i have an eight handicap and uh <laughs> and uh he he, he 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 wants putin to take over the world and he's gonna leave nato and uh where are we um one i heard the other day was would you rather that every time you sneeze you go like back in time, I think it was like 10 years or forward in time, 20 years. Every time. And there's no reset. You just keep going every time you sneeze. Yeah. So like you go forward 20. So if I sneeze twice, I'd go forward 40 and then I'd be stuck there until I sneeze again. Then I go forward another 20. And then when I sneeze again, I go forward another 20 and just have to keep living my life like that. Yes. I'd go backwards. Really? Yeah. Hmm. You know, after after like three weeks of allergy season, you'd be back in like 1500. David, I was blessed with zero allergies in my life. <laughs> you still sneeze. <laughs> I do still sneeze. You would never but... progress unless you held in a sneeze for over 10 years. Listen, your boy was blessed with zero allergies. Never well, your boy has... going to be blessing you every time you sneeze. <laughs> never has sneeze Until attacks. you go back to before language was invented. That's fine. Hell, you, could, ra- you could go back so far that. that you come in contact with something you're allergic to. <laughs> Like something that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> oh fuck! This T Rex is making me. <laughs> achoo, achoo. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So I would go back for sure every time I sneeze. Okay. Yeah, I'd go forward. Hmm. Okay. Well, I won't see you there. That you won't. <laughs> <laughs> unless unless I go so far forward that I like lap the. I don't. I don't know. Well, same thing. If I go so far back that I lap like the Big Bang, like. Yeah. Just like you know floating in nothing. There's also won't be there is the fucking esports kids because they have no life and they're sons of bitches. Fuck them. Bitches. Love y'all. Party like it's 1776. Peace.